Hey guys, so today we're going to be making calcium acetate from plain old eggshells and vinegar. Calcium acetate is often used in the medical industry, as well as a fertilizer, providing calcium to plants. It is surprisingly simple to make, but funny enough, things still went wrong for me. So let's get started. For this experiment, all you're going to need is some 10% cleaning vinegar and some eggshells. If you're using 5% vinegar, you can still do it, but you're going to need twice the amount of solution. Keep in mind that we're going to have to boil down our mixture later. The first thing you're going to need to do is to collect the eggshells. I religiously harvested the eggshells from every breakfast to get a decent amount. Then you're going to want to either boil them or wash them to remove the gooey liquid inside the eggs. I decided to just wash them thoroughly. Now don't worry about the membrane for now. Leave them on as they'll be easy to separate later. Next. I threw them all into a large metal bowl and drained out any excess water from my wash. You then want to crush them into small fragments to increase the surface area and thus reaction rate. This was annoying at first because the eggshells kept clinging onto my pestle and not cracking, but slowly it became quite satisfying. It had a nice crunch to it as well. When it was about this fine, I decided that it was good enough. I moved on to dumping this mess into a large beaker and I think I had about 100 grams of these eggshells. It's important to keep these values in mind as the eggshells have to be in excess so that when we boil down the mixture, we don't vaporize any acetic acid as all the vinegar has fully reacted. The mass included the membranes though, so this might be a little off, but I went with about 600 milliliters of vinegar. I did this in two batches, so I added the rest of the eggshells later on. Now what's happening here is a simple acid-base reaction. Eggshells are made of calcium carbonate, the same thing found in antacids like Tums and also chalk, and it acts as a base. The reaction mechanism actually consists of two parts. First, two acetic acid molecules react with one calcium carbonate unit forming calcium acetate, meanwhile protonating the carbonate 2 minus ion two times, which in turn creates the weak carbonic acid. This is short-lived, however, as in the second step, the carbonic acid decomposes into water and CO2 bubbles, as seen here. The reaction is slow, though, and the eggshells keep on floating upwards due to the gas forming, kind of like a weird lava lamp. I have to say, though, it is quite mesmerizing. It also got very foamy and almost overflowed multiple times. Luckily, that never happened. Now, I left it running for a day or so and then poured in the rest of the eggshells. When I came back to it after another day, barely any more CO2 and foaming occurred, and the mass of eggshells permanently rested at the bottom. The fragments also noticeably shrunk in size. Now, the calcium acetate is the desired product, and it's soluble in water, so all of the other solids, including the shells that were left and also the membrane, can be filtered off. The solution is also a bit cloudy, and this is due to some impurities in the eggshells. But for our purposes, it's not that big of a deal. Now, I didn't have a large beaker, so I used a 1 liter round bottom flask for this step. I grabbed a coffee filter and a funnel and poured the solution in bit by bit. Now, you might think that this step is boring, and I have to say, it, it really is. And my patience was waning, it wasn't that entertaining, so I decided to do two filtrations at the same time. I guess that's one of the pros of having a 3 necked round bottom flask. Now I transferred the filter solution containing our aqueous calcium acetate back into the large beaker and cranked up the heat and the stirring. The reaction became cloudy because calcium acetate is one of those weird salts where an increase in temperature actually decreases its solubility. I left this on for about 4 to 5 hours. Now in other videos they boil it down to a paste, but before I got to that consistency, the mixture started bumping like crazy, even with the stirring on. I was a little confused. It even got to a point where it splattered all over the table and almost onto me. Oops. I quickly took it off the hot plate and let it cool. I guess I'll have to air dry it then. I scooped out all of the mixture and put it in the pan. And guess what? I put it back on the hot plate. This time there was no bumping since I probably spread it out and that was probably why it didn't happen anymore. And to speed things up, I used a blowtorch. However, the small amount of impurities in the eggshells that came over started getting charred, like bits of it started turning black. So I switched back to the original plan of letting it air dry. 
So maybe using temperatures um, that were really high were not a great idea. And after a day or so, everything had dried solid and I crushed it up into a fine powder with a mortar and pestle. Here's the amount of final calcium acetate I obtained. 